Welcome to ICS News. This is Ron Burgundy. I mean, Nick Hefner. And I'm Von Burgundy. I mean, Ernest too. And here's what's making news. Aside from the NBA All-Star Games that took place this month, ICS had an All-Star Game of its own. Students were voted on to play in a match against the teachers. We now go to Jamie Mary Hoy for a recap of the game. Take it away, Jamie. I thought the series going great and you get to see people who don't usually play play more. I feel like I should be on the bench. That's my number one spot. I'm somewhat conflicted because I'm a student but then my dad's on the other team, so. I love the awesome. Uh, Sam so passed us the wall. He was a beast. I'm really lucky to get voted again and I made a buzzer beater shot which is pretty cool. Well I think it is a great way for students to unite and also to participate in more school related stuff and it's really fun to see teacher be a student. I think that the All-Star Game is a great opportunity for the student body to bond as well as to create healthy competition between the students and teachers. There's no point playing the second That's half. That's always a beast! We won. <laughs> Another successful ICS All-Star game. Although the student team did not win, the crowd had a great time cheering for their classmates. This has been Jamie Hoy for ICS News. To cap off today's news report, we bring you even more basketball news. Oh, it's Matt Lineford. The art teacher, Mr. Swinehart, will shave his head. Nick will be giving us a thorough report on Mr. Swinehart's hair. Hello, everyone. I'm Nick Hefner for ICS News, here with uh, Mr. Swinehart, the coach of the U20 basketball champions. Uh, okay, Coach, so uh, how do you feel about our, our team's performance this year? Um, I was really, really, really proud of um, every single game, um, especially the last one, the last um, part of the season. I just felt like a lot of people and the team came together and uh, started playing hard and started uh, doing the things they needed to do to win games. But uh, as far as uh, that goes, I'm just really proud of um, everybody. Don't forget to highlight my 23 points in the finals. Just saying. Uh, so, what do you expect for the team next year? Um, I, I tell you, we're missing. You know, we'll be missing a couple uh, key players. Not Nick, um, but uh, everybody else besides Nick, we will be uh, missing next year. Um, but I, I really do feel that there's some U16s that are going to contribute, and uh, we're going to have a solid team um, to build off of uh, a good, good season this year. So. How do you feel about being bald? Well, it is a pretty sad, but it was an inevitable thing. So, and obviously losing my hair as it is, so um, it it will grow back, hopefully. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I it, it doesn't matter. It's just hair. So, okay, you heard it first from Mr. Swinehart, coach of the ICS U20 champions of 2013 to 14. I'm Nick Hefner. Stay cool, ICS. Well, that's all the news we have for today, ICS. And from everyone here at Channel 4, I mean the ICS news team, I'm Nick Hefner. And my name is Ernest too. Stay cool, ICS. Thanks for coming by. Welcome to ICS News. My name is Ernest Too. And my name no, you're not supposed to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> you just missed your life. We just missed the whole thing! <laughs> Operations for the Westward Bound have been in place for the sub. <laughs> 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 can you go can you guys focus for a bit? We didn't do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Amateurs! Amateur! But mainly stay cool. Thanks for coming by. Stay cool. Disco, disco. <laughs> there you go.